This is the Sunday Business Page with John Delano. Good morning, I'm John Delano. Welcome to another edition of the Sunday Business Page. And our very special guest this morning is Randy Giancola, who is the producer of this year's Pittsburgh RV show that just began yesterday here in Pittsburgh. Randy, good to have you on the show. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, John. Thanks for having me. You know, I love the RV show because it means spring is coming. Uh, you know, it's a way to start off the year, and I love it. But uh, tell us a little bit more about this year's RV show down at the David Lawrence Convention Center. Well, we've taken up both floors of the convention center, and we've transformed it into nine acres of an RV paradise. I love it, an RV paradise. Well, you know, for folks who may not be familiar with recreational vehicles, I should just say right off the bat, they're very popular and more popular than ever, right? Oh, they be yes, they, they've always been popular, but they became more popular with the pandemic. People needed a way to work remotely and to quarantine and to stay away from different things. And so they bought an RV and they were working remotely. I mean, you didn't know if they were in their driveway or if they were at the Grand Canyon or at Alcatraz. <laughs> That's funny. So tell us a little bit about the kinds of RVs there are, because you see all kinds on the highways, self-driven ones, those attached to trucks, even some attached to cars. I, I take it there's a great variety of choices that we would see at the convention center. Well, we have them for every budget and every size, whether you're, you have a minivan, we have the small A-frame pop-up 10 trailers, we have the small pods, all the way up to the regular travel trailers, fifth wheels, we have toy haulers where people put their quads and Harleys in the back, all the way up to the John Madden Class A diesel pusher motorhomes. Are they very expensive? Well, the pop-ups, are the cheapest, the diesel pushers are the most expensive. There'll be something here for every budget. But I think what we're talking about, we're, I mean, I've seen RVs around 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, and then the, you get the mega. Is that right? Are we? Am I yeah. in the right price range we'll, there? We'll have units in the mid twenties up to possibly uh, half a million dollars. The dealers haven't posted their prices yet, but I saw a uh, Newmar diesel pusher from our friends at Ainsley RV in Duncansville, PA. It's probably going to be the most expensive unit in the show. And I'd imagine it's going to be between three fifty dollars and $400,000. <laughs> That's like buying a mega mansion, I think, for a lot of folks. I, uh, I guess the other thing that's interesting to me is that you don't have to buy an RV. I know that's what your dealers might like, but I think many dealers also do rentals as well. Is that right? They do. They do rentals. It's a great way to dip your foot in the pond, so to speak, of the RV world before you make that commitment to buy. In our campgrounds that are here as well, a lot of them have RV rentals and cabins that they rent to give you the experience in the campground before you make that commitment to buy an RV. In other words, if I understand correctly, you can actually rent an RV to be in place at some site for you when you arrive by car. That is correct. You know, I have to tell you that it's a little intimidating. We've only got about 30 seconds left, but it's a little intimidating for those of us who have never driven these big vehicles around. Is that tough to do? Not at all. Um, it's If you've ever driven a pickup truck or a small moving van, it's, it's much like that. They'll always follow you. They don't bend in the middle, so you can't lose the other half. <laughs> well, that's a good way to put it. Well, Randy Giancola, who's the producer for this year's Pittsburgh Recreational Vehicle Show, now on at the David Lawrence Convention Center through the 14th of January. Thank you, Randy, so very much for spending time with us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you, John, for having me. And thank you for watching this edition of the Sunday Business Page. Have a great Sunday, everybody.